Pepin and Molly are getting very deep into this investigation about the mysterious insulin. They found that insulin is like a key to unlock the cells to receive the glucose. This is how the food that turns into glucose enters the bloodstream and can provide the body with energy. In the case of those with type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce insulin, which is why they need to receive it in an injection. When the body does not have insulin, it starts burning fat to obtain energy, producing ketones. When ketones build up in the blood, they make it more acidic. These high levels of ketones can poison the body with a condition that is known as diabetic ketoacidosis. Pepin thought that to solve this problem, maybe Molly could receive a lot of insulin so she won't have diabetic ketoacidosis. Molly explained to him that that's not a good idea. Having more than the correct amount of insulin can cause low glucose, known as hypoglycemia. The great enemies of people with diabetes are high glucose, known as hyperglycemia, low glucose, known as hypoglycemia, and diabetic ketoacidosis. Pepin thought, this is like a tongue twister. Molly told Pepin that the important thing is to determine the correct amount of insulin needed by counting the carbohydrates ingested and by checking her blood glucose several times during the day, at least before meals and at bedtime. To do this, it is first necessary to learn the main nutrients in food, which are fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Molly and her mother went to classes to learn how much, what type, and how many times to inject the insulin based on the blood, glucose, and the food Molly was going to eat. Dr. G has been adjusting the amount of insulin with Molly and her mother, being sure they learn how to determine the amount of insulin that she needs. Pepin started feeling dizzy with all these things that Molly needs to learn about diabetes. He felt hungry and suddenly he realized the need to solve another mysterious case about how to determine the amount of carbohydrates contained in meals. 